For Katmai's bears, getting fat is a rite of passage. Each and every year, they gorge themselves on a veritable feast of anything and everything they can find, mostly salmon. The feeding frenzy is now so well known that the National Park Service dedicates an entire week to the spectacle. Aptly named Fat Bear Week, the Park Service uses this time to celebrate anything and everything having to do with these burly Bruins. Festivities include educational talks and live streams, but the real draw of Fat Bear Week is the bracket. Yes, the bracket. Katmai's chunksters are thrown into the virtual gauntlet, as rangers devise a March Madness style tournament to determine which bear is, in fact, the fattest. Once the bracket is set up, you, the public, can cast your vote for which bear you think should win. The winner is chosen on the first Tuesday of October, again aptly named Fat Bear Tuesday. The contest returns again this year and I'll link to it down below so you can be sure to cast your vote for who you think is Katmai's fattest bear. But why do these bears get so fat in the first place? The simple answer is that they need to put on as much weight as possible to survive the frigid Alaskan winter. The more complex answer still has to do with hibernation, but it also deals with an actual competition between bears and the importance of Katmai's salmon-rich waters and bringing this whole spectacle together. Let's tackle hibernation first. Here's a crash course in that most famous of bear behaviors. Contrary to popular belief, not all bears hibernate. Only in cold climates where winter resources are hard to come by do bears bed down for the long nap. Hibernation is simply a mechanism bears use to conserve energy and wait until food is abundant once again. Even then, not all cold weather bears do this. Polar bears have been known not to hibernate in the winter, despite the lack of food. Also contrary to popular belief, bears don't sleep for the entire hibernation period. Instead, they go into a sort of low energy state called torpor. During this state and throughout the winter, bears can lose up to one third of their body weight, drop their body temperature, slow their heart rate, and don't even eat or drink. But they're not just wasting away in there either. All that fat they accumulated during the summer is burned for energy allowing them to maintain most of their muscle mass for when they emerge. Bears don't even go to the bathroom during hibernation. Instead, they're able to repurpose their waste into proteins to further prevent muscle decay. And because they're not fully asleep the entire time, they get up and adjust themselves throughout the winter, kind of like your dog does when it's trying to get comfortable. This is thought to help them prevent pressure sores and better retain heat. When temperatures get warmer and food becomes available once again, Bears emerge from their dens and start the long, arduous process of survival once again. But enough about hibernation, let's get back to that salmon feast. It is, after all, the main attraction of Fat Bear Week. Now, the National Park Service may set up a competition to pit fat bears against each other online, but there's also an actual competition amongst bears happening out in the salmon-rich waters of Katmai National Park. And just like online, the fattest bears are usually the winners at least in some ways. On the surface, we can look at these bears gorging themselves on salmon as preparing to hibernate by building up enough fat reserves to survive the winter. And that is true. But if we step back and look at this ecosystem as a whole, we can see hundreds of bears all doing the same thing, competing for resources. Bears that catch more salmon grow bigger and fatter. This means they can dominate more territory, catch even more salmon, and grow even fatter. It's a never-ending cycle of fat bears. And when winter comes around, not only will that fat help them survive, but for male bears, it will help make them a perfect candidate for mating in the spring. Emerging from hibernation big and strong is the perfect way to ensure you win the sweetheart of your dreams. Of course, lady bears get fat too. In many ways, it's actually more important because they have cubs. Not only do female bears have to compete against others for food, but they need to make sure they put on enough weight to support their cubs as well. If mama bear hasn't put on enough fat to provide for her cubs, a chemical signal will actually tell her body not to develop those baby bears, ensuring the cubs aren't born into an environment that can't support them. Thus, getting fat is crucial if female bears want to have happy, healthy, and very cute little bear cubs. And let's not forget about our little bear cub friends, because they face their own set of challenges when it comes to getting fat. After emerging from hibernation and just their first year of life, bear cubs are faced with the harsh reality of survival. Just like adult bears, cubs must make sure they put on enough fat to survive the upcoming winter. But because they're still so young, baby bears undergo intense growth spurts, making their search for food that much more vital. Getting fat not only helps bear cubs to simply survive, but to grow big and strong. 
ensuring they have the energy and nutrients they will need to live a full and healthy life. And of course, this whole spectacle is impossible without the resplendent waters of Katmai National Park and Bristol Bay. This region of Alaska is home to more grizzly bears than people, and has one of the largest runs of sockeye salmon anywhere in the world. The two main rivers in the watershed, the Nushagak and Kivichak, nourish this ecosystem with vital nutrients and resources, giving rise to a wonderful array of biodiversity. All five species of Pacific salmon can be found here, coho, chinook, chum, pink, and the aforementioned sockeye. In addition to the salmon, the Bristol Bay watershed is home to 24 other species of fish, 190 species of birds, more than 40 species of terrestrial mammals, as well as freshwater seals, walruses, right whales, and beluga whales. In short, Katmai and its surrounding waters are a truly wild place. It's home to an incredible abundance of wildlife and natural resources, including those very fat bears. For these bears, getting fat is how they survive. It allows them not only to endure the harsh Alaskan winter, but to outcompete other bears, care for their cubs, and grow big and strong. Each year, they rely on the nutrient-rich waters of Bristol Bay to supply them with a sumptuous feast of salmon. And as the weather gets cooler and cooler, the bears get fatter and fatter. And then, when winter arrives, they bed down in their dens for a nice long nap, dreaming of spring when they can wake up and feast once again. Don't forget to check out the link down below to vote for who you think is Katmai's fattest bear. Results will be announced on Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. And as always, if you want to learn more about the world's protected places, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me bring more park stories to more people. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.